What is intelligence anyway? Forget about humans. Forget about anything with a big brain. Scientists are discovering a group of creatures that's forcing us to reconsider what it means to be intelligent, even what it means to think. So who are these fine specimens? This? Are you kidding me? You dragged me out here to look at this? That is a wild slime mold. A wild slime mold? That's right, slime mold. If looks can be deceiving, then slime mold is the master of deception. It's no ordinary single-celled creature. It's a collective of cell parts working together as one to do extraordinary things. There is no way this thing is intelligent. But it is. I think you might be surprised. It is smart. Ann Pringle is an expert in fungi and slime mold at Harvard University. And she's about to show me just how smart these guys can be. All right, let's give it a go. Ready? There's your pen. <laughs> what you is ready? this? You're going to erase a maze, and the slime mold is too, and we're going to see who does a better job. Uh... <laughs> Three, two, one, go. All right. Oops. Having trouble? Quiet. It's not that hard, but I had to double back a couple of times. Done! In the time it took me to solve this puzzle, your slime has done nothing! Sometimes it's not about how quickly you do things, it's about how well you do them. It may take this goop over a day, but it finds the shortest path through the maze more efficiently than I did, without any mistakes or going back. All without any brain or nerves whatsoever. The slime does it by communicating across its body of thousands of cell nuclei. By working together, the collective of dumb parts can do pretty smart things. This completely blows away this idea that you have to be really smart to solve problems. The intelligence emerges from the interactions among much simpler components. And that's just it. Slime mold, as it turns out, is just one of a growing number of creatures that scientists say possess swarm intelligence, a kind of intelligence where many individuals work together as one to do amazing things. Understanding how these organisms do it could fundamentally change the way we think about the evolution of intelligence. We used to think intelligence was really associated with having one large brain. Whereas now, when we look at swarming ants or bees or schooling fish, we realize you can build intelligence in other ways. A single fish isn't too bright, but by abiding by simple rules, like swim close but not too close, stay lined up, and avoid things you don't like. The school can outsmart even the most cunning predators. And some scientists now think our brains might actually work the same way. Each neuron in your brain isn't smart, yet collectively, you're very intelligent. How is that possible? Are there parallels between these systems and how the brain operates? 